All right, we're cleaning a little carpet. This was kind of a rush job. We got a last minute call. This is a house that uh, was supposed to close and the only holdup was that they wanted to get the carpets cleaned. And uh, they told us it was vacuumed. But it looks like they had some stuff stuck behind. Well, he's there, I'm gonna show you. We do this, this room. And we have a small room here, which was a child's room. It's a little closet. And we have a larger room, which is the, I guess, the master bedroom. And it's not super, super, super bad. Now, I may not show every minute of this. I may just hit the highlights and so. Oh, we're doing this with the Iron Man bonnet. Yeah, uh, Paul with Washington Pro, he ordered a bunch of Iron Man bonnets and he decided to send us one because uh, we're too cheap to buy them. <laughs> More or less, yeah. So he said he'd send, them, send us one so we could evaluate it and see what it's like. And we've used it a little bit. This is the first time we've had a, a chance to shoot any video with it. And, um, we, we've been doing a lot of work lately where I've basically been home doing all of our computer stuff and everything and uh, trying to recover from some illnesses and things and so Jay's been going out and doing the, uh, the work by himself. And you see right out the window there that little smart car. That holds everything we need to take with us. That's how we roll. And it works. Now they're going to post vacuum this because we already told them Depending on what kind of vacuum they have, there's going to be a lot of debris in the carpet that this is going to bring up. And so it's a good idea to come back later today or tomorrow and vacuum it real quick. So that's the deal we made with them. Uh, seeing as this is the Iron Man bonnet when we're done, of course we'll show the bottom of the bonnet. Everybody wants to see that. That's your money shop. Yeah. Now we don't, a lot of people like to change bonnets real frequently and flip them real frequently. We don't. And that's cool. We, we don't do, we don't mess with the bonnet until we notice that the cleaning starting to slow down and then it's either time to flip it or we'll, we'll go wash it out if we have to. Now these bonnets absorb pretty well, we've been told, so there's a chance that by the time you finish with one side, it's already pretty much saturated the other side enough you don't want to just flip it. So if we have to, we'll rinse it out. Did you do the closet? Yeah. And behind the door? I did That's behind the door. Okay. Right here. I will be pausing the camera because we're only pre spraying a little bit ahead of what we're cleaning. We're I, not... I always pre spray one room and it's about five minutes ahead of where I'm going to clean it. Yeah. So they're definitely going to want to run their vacuum tomorrow at the latest. Oh, yeah. Somebody will. Alright, I'm going to pause the camera and we'll be back in the next room. Alright, we just pre sprayed this room. One room's done. That's good. It's, yeah, it'll turn out good. This one over here, I don't know about because the, uh, I mean, it's so bad. Uh, we'll see if I have a look at it. Java Falls is here, I'll be right back. 
All right, back. Show a little progress. And you still called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw our YouTube stuff, huh? Oh, we saw it on your Facebook. Yeah, we got videos on there. We have a really big YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah, we're, we're, everybody all over the world knows who we are, but nobody here knows who we are. No, nobody in town here knows who we are. We're all over the world because we have a huge property channel on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, cool. We have a lot of subscribers on YouTube? We only got like 4,000. But, but you know, people, but a lot of people they want some crowd and just watch. Yeah, yeah it, it, what's funny with those the subscribers don't matter anyway because people subscribe to you and then they watch you for a while and they get bored and they just stay subscribed but they never watch you again. So we have like four thousand subscribers, but I think we got what is it four and a half million views or something. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like you know, some people like to watch this kind. Of, the, a lot of people like to watch this because they think it's really relaxing and peaceful. To sit. It's like watching someone mow a lawn. Yeah. It's just peaceful. Yeah. It's kind of chill out if you've never seen it before. It's neat to watch the stage just disappear. Yeah, a lot of people have never got to see it done, so. I've never seen it. That's why I want to come in here and see We're the only oh, people yeah, it's in this part of Texas to do this. This is what's going to be going on all over the country soon. The, uh, the, the steam theaters, they're going to be considered environmentally unsound. They put out business because they waste a lot of water. They run, the, they run their exhaust in the air, and they got the machine running out in the driveway. And, uh, and, they, and they dump dirty water everywhere. Well, and your carpets could take, a lot of times around here for some reason, people are saying their carpets are wet for days. Oh, if you go touch your carpet in the first room, it might be dry now. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be dry enough by later today. I don't even want to step in now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, we have to have the mother We just have to... Yeah, you could pack them. In. Yeah, actually, if you had a leaf rake or something like that, you could just rake it all up in a pile if you wanted. I have to. a question. So, like, if it looks good and then they and then they kind of complain they want to clean it again, could you come another day and do it again? Sure. If we have to, but it, yeah. it's going to be clean good. I mean, the, the problem is, is the carpet's worn out in a lot of areas. Like over there in that threshold, it's it's, uh, it, it's hard to clean. More, it's hard yeah. to clean. It's clean, but it's worn out, so it's hard to look yeah, yeah. The it's color of the carpet. carpet. Yeah, when you look at the carpet, because the fibers are distorted from the we, wear, we it doesn't this, look the same. We bought this house five years ago. We didn't put on new carpet, and it came with this carpet. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and it's a good carpet, but it's had its better days. This is the kind of carpet you typically see in trailer houses. On oh, trailer houses? Yeah, it's, it's a... It's a real low quality commercial carpet. It's a good carpet, but it's. it's I, mean, uh, I don't care. I didn't put it in. Yeah. <laughs> if you want carpet, well, if you got it, you got to use it, and it's still good enough. I, you could sell it, yeah. sell the sell the house without having to put new carpets uh, in. In the future, if you want carpet to last you for thirty, forty years, buy wool. Well, yeah. No, I want. I want a, my new house. I'm gonna put ceramic floors or tiles. There you go. The you can get some area rugs if you want. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm that's the only thing I, reason I don't like carpet is because when you got kids, they mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't do that. See like this here. This isn't dirt, this is worn carpet. You see how the carpet fibers are, are it looks like a horse blanket. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not got the thick fibers like the edge over there. So what you got is it looks dirty, but it's uh, it's just worn carpet fibers and the way the light reflects off of it, 
Well, it makes it look darker than it really is. Did you do that closet there? I think. No, you... I'm going to. Okay. Though. It's good though. It's clean. Yeah, you, know, you guys really want to back because this thing's pulling stuff up from the pad, from the bottom. It's just pulling stuff. Well, up if you the don't, they'll probably want it cleaned again. Yeah, you, if you vacuum it, you'll save yourself a. You can come over here and spend five minutes vacuuming, and you're gonna save yourself a cleaning fee if they want it cleaned again. No, you, you don't want to be out cleaning it over a vacuum cleaner. If you run a vacuum over here, it'll look 100 percent better. A vacuum's all it's missing. A vacuum. Is. Yeah. We'll go get a vacuum in a minute. <laughs> yeah, because you can see yeah. all this hair and stuff. Let me shut you. You're on just to get the closet. No, I'll open it right back up again. I'm not You're trying to shut you out or nothing. <laughs> the way the people designed this house, they designed it weird. It's got some weird stuff. They did a but it's a cool room. house. Now, you guys have all your stuff out in Zephyr already? And storage. Oh, okay. Because I want to I um, remodel that house sometime. Okay. Let's see here real quick. I'm going to pause here for a second because we're going to finish on. up in this room. Let's see the bottom of the sink. Yeah, it's getting a little There's your dirt. It goes right into the bonnet and it absorbs straight through. Yeah, you're right back. Eventually, it'll go. All right, we were talking with the customer and everything. What's up, buddy? Just get ready to move rooms. What we're going to do, we worked out a thing with them. We're going to vacuum the carpets for them, so. Because they were going to, they said they'd vacuum after we left, and then it turns out they don't even have a vacuum. They threw it away. <laughs> they threw their vacuum away, so they were going to have to go buy a vacuum cleaner to come back and do this. And say, so, well, we could do that for you. So. Here, let me sneak by. Hang on. Get in there, because i got to reset the pad. All right. right. Now this room is a kid's room and there may be some stuff in here that's not going to come out. I think that over there, there was some uh, slime that was down, but they also may be some bleach that got spilt in the carpet. So. The machine sounds a little rattly compared to normal. Oh, no, it's fine. So it's all, probably they, the, they all it's all the acoustics. It's probably just the acoustics it in this is. room. Sounds like it's grinding away. Sounds like it got sand in the gearbox, you know? Oh, no, it's grinding in the carpet. So, no, it's just, they make noise. Okay, so the customer left. They went to get some more money. And they're going to come back. They're going to pay us for vacuuming, which is nice. And then they gave us a tip because we say we because we are we're saving them from having to go buy a vacuum cleaner, so they're going to give us a nice tip too. So we always appreciate that. And they're a nice young couple and they're happy. Uh, they said what happened was they had the house sold and everything, and then the buyer at the last minute uh, came up with a thing that they they that they were supposed to clean the carpets as part of the deal, and it's like they didn't make any deal to clean the carpets. It was supposed to be as is. And so this is like a rush thing because the electric's supposed to get shut off today. To switch over to the new to the new owners, and they had to to, to get this deal to close. Uh, they called us in a frantic hurry because they needed somebody to come like right now. And we're hoping to get it done before the electric shuts off. Yeah, so we're kind of on a crunch. We don't we don't want to be here vacuuming the carpets when the when the uh, electricity shuts off. Okay, we're gonna have to pop, we're gonna have to work on these stains a little bit more. So I'm gonna pause the camera because it's gonna be a slow process. And I'll turn it back on when we get closer to done. So stay tuned. All right, we're still working on this. We decided. No, no wait, come in here. The Iron Man bonnet. We 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 cooked that one pretty hard. Actually, so. I, I used the Iron Man. I got the orc on on here now, and this was sort of stuff the Iron Man didn't get out. Well, the orc. The truth is, listen. On all this stuff is bonnets. There's all this argument about which ones are better. And I'm gonna tell you, me and Joe have done buckus of dirty carpets with these orc bonnets, and we've got them clean. And right now, this is taking out stuff the Iron Man missed. Well, that, that's for sure. But to be fair, if we went and cleaned that bonnet out, it, it, we could still keep using it. But since they got their house all basically cleaned up, ready to sell, well, except for the vacuuming, we don't want to go put their sink dirty with our bonnet. Well, the truth so. is, I've never done a, car, a place with this little carpet, and it had to, it had to, the orc bonnet fell where I even had to flip it. I mean, on some dirty ones. So there's something to be said. These orc bonnets are still the way to go. Well, I think the Iron Man bonnets are great bonnets, but you but uh, they fill up faster, and you're going to use you're going to have to use them a little bit more. 
Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, you, they fill up and, and they, they're done. You either got to put a new one down or you got to wash them out. And uh, the orc bonnets, we seem to be able to, the orc bonnets aren't, aren't cotton, they're synthetic. And so it takes a long time to get one to where it's basically done and you can't clean anymore with it. Now this is a Perseille style carpet and they are difficult. Hey, get this area right here because it's all matted. I can't fix that because that's not matted, that's, 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 uh, that's damage. Alright. But you're hearing it from us folks, the Iron Man bonnets, I'm not saying they don't work, but the Orb bonnets, they came in here and pulled the Iron Man bonnet out, of the, pulled the fat out of the fire for the Orb bonnet, they really did. We got stains out with this and I couldn't even budge up with the Iron Man bonnet, now that is a fact. I'm not saying that. Well, <clears throat> just to be the problem with the Iron Man bonnets is you got to buy six at a time, unless you have someone who's nice enough to just send you one for free. But uh, you can buy the Orc bonnets one at a time. But that, as far as price goes, they're not outrageously expensive on a per bonnet price. It's just you could buy one or bonnet at a time when you want to. And with the Iron Man, you got to buy six at a time. Well, the bottom line is so this. depending on you know how much you want to spend. I'm not going to say if you I want to use the Iron Man bonnets, but I think the Orc bonnets are as good as, if not better. That's just the way it is. Yeah, we're going to vacuum this, and then uh, I'm not going to show the vacuuming, but no, we'll. The carpet's on that. There's not going to be no pretty vacuum lines. No, no, no. That. We're going to vacuum up all this mess, and that's not even worth putting a video up on. No. Um, so I think we're going to call it good. We're just waiting for them to get back. They're back. So I think we're going to call it quits right here. we got a little bit more to do here. We're going to vacuum everything up for them real nice and neat. And then that's it for this job. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, thanks for watching.